Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use one password. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to start using one password, what we need to do first is we need to go to, to their official website, which is going to be onepassword.com. Now, how do we start using it? Well, in this case, we first need to go to their pricing page. Now, there's going to be different pricing for their website, which is going to be uh, the individual. We have the families, the team, starter, pack, and the business. Now, depending on what you need, you could get whatever option that you want to get here. Like, for example, for the individual, you will be able to take control of your account and you only have one access. But if you use families, these are multiple access for your whole family. And teams, starter pack here and business if you're doing like business or if you have a small team that you want to manage their uh, accounts with. In this case, we want to try the individual here for free. So let's go ahead and click on try free for 14 days. And from here, it's going to ask you to create your account. In this case, we need to enter our name as well as the email address you want to use and enable the get emails from one password if you want to. In this case, let's go and fill out those details. Now, it's going to give you a verification code here that you'll be receiving on your email. So it's going to be one password uh, at one password email here. In this case, let's go ahead and enter it into our website here. And once we've actually paste our code, just click on next. Now from here, it's going to say one password security is uniquely strong. So in this case, it's going to give you some information that you need both to set up your new device and only you need your password to unlock. Let's go ahead and click on next. Now from here, we need to set our account password. So let's go ahead and enter our password here, which just includes a minimum of 10 characters and the confirmation. In. Let's go ahead and enter those password. Now it's going to ask you to add a payment method. In this case, you need to choose your payment method, so maybe a gift card or a payment method or card, or and you also need to enter your address. But if you want to skip this for now, you can just click on the create account and add payment method later. In this case, it's going to start creating your account, and from here it should create your account. So let's just wait for it. Now also, it's going to generate a unique secret key for your account. So you never or you should never actually share this to anyone because again, this is a uh, uh, secret key that you could use to uh, re basically recover for your account just in case you lose access. So in this case, just click on your key, secret key here. And from here, you should be able to see the secret key itself. In this case, you could go ahead and click or, or copy this one if you see it. But in this case, you could also save this as PDF if you want to if you want to have a copy of it. In this case, once you've done that, just click on next. Now from here, you should be able to see your My Password account, which in this case will include the general information about our account. We have the home, and from here you have your votes. Now in this case, by default, you have your personal vault here, but if you want to create a different vault for your account, you can just click on new vault here and basically add a name for that vault. Like for example, this is going to be a work vault here. And from here, you have the description. But for now, let's just click a create vault here and you should be able to see uh, your vault here. But for now, let's just go back into home and we now have uh, all votes. We have our personal here and our work vault. Now, vaults are a great way for you to categorize uh, different uh, information or uh, different uh, passwords or uh, items that you want to manage. For example, for personal items, you go to personal, like this will include your social media or anything that is for personal yourself. Now, you also have the option to add a work vault here, which includes your work details, so work credentials or passwords or usernames. Again, you could create a new vault here to uh, basically better categorize them in different sections. Now, at the right side, you should be able to see the option for home, the variable tools, integration, billing, and invite people. Now, home would contain your home, so that includes your uh, vaults here that you have. We also have the variable tools, like for example, if you want to uh, basically add the uh, development, like for example, you have access tokens. So if you're a developer, this is where you'll be able to integrate uh, one password to different platforms. We also have integrations here. So if you want to f further add integrations into your account, like virtual cards or a mask email, if you want to add those. I have our billing section here as well. So if you have like a billing method, your current plan, this is where you'll be able to view them. And also you have the invite people here if you wanted to invite someone into uh, your uh, account. So for example, if you have like a team plan or a family plan, you'll be able to invite them by via this section for invite people. So 
So for now, let's just go back into our home here. And how do we start using it? Well, what we need to do is we need to access our vault. Now, by the way, if you want to further uh, edit your vault, you just need to click on the gear icon there, have the option to delete your vault, view vault, or import data if you have those. So in this case, let's just go back here and we want to go to personal. So you're going to click on it. And from here, you should be able to see your information. So the first thing you see here is your one password account. So that includes your username as well as password that you use, the strength of your password, the website itself, and some notes if you added them and tags here. We also have the show web form details and view sharing history if you've shared this detail to anyone. Now, in this case, you also have the uh, profile for your account. So that includes your first name, last name, email address, and any notes regarding yourself. Now, in this case, this is the all items here. We have our favorites, Watchtower, you have, we also have those. For example, your, your overall password strength, if you've added a significant number of accounts here. Breach report, if there are breaches in your account, and the get started option here if you want to learn more about one password. Now, in this case, for all items, maybe I want to create a new one. So let's go back to all items here. Let's create a new one by clicking on the plus button here. And from here, you have the option to create a login, secure note, credit card, identity, and password. And by the way, if you want to edit already on the already existing uh, account or section here, just click on edit at the top right, and you should be able to edit this one. But for now, maybe I want to add a login. Let's go and choose login. Now for the title, you need to add the title for this specific password. So for example, this is going to be for Facebook. And now we need to enter our username. So for example, this is going to be a username. And we now need to enter our password. So let's go add our password here. Now in this case, we also have the website here. So in this case, you can just basically enter the uh, website itself. So this is just an example. I'm going to choose fp.com. I have other websites if you want to associate further websites into it. I have the section, uh, 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 section here as well. Uh, for example, if you want to add a specific section here, or you can even add labels if you want to add those and new field if you want to. So yeah, so in this case, it's like uh, adding a new specific section for uh, for yourself. Like for example, you want to add a section for notes or whatnot. This is where you'll be you'll be to add them. But you also have the personal section here for notes if you want to add further details or describing what this actually do. I also have tags here if you want to add further tags. Like for, for example, let's go ahead and add a personal tag here. And from here, once you're done, you can just click on save at the top right, and that would actually start adding that into your old item section. Now, in this case, this is where you will be able to uh, basically add uh, whatever. So if you want to add a card, you could just choose a credit card option here. Which in this case, you just need to provide all the details like the title. Like for example, this is going to be your bank card. So you have the card uh, holder name, the type, the number, uh, number that you have, also verification code here, the experience date, the valid from, section, labels, and whatnot. So you also have the other details here that you need to fill out. But so once you're done, just click on save and you should be able to add your card. Now, in this case, you also have the option to add, like, for example, how uh, you want to add your uh, Wi-Fi password. Well, you could use the secure note option here. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of things that you could store here on your one password account. So that includes passwords, documents, API credentials, bank accounts, crypto wallet, database, driver's license, and a lot more. Now, if you want to use secure note, you just basically use secure note here. So in this case, I want to say this is going to be a Wi-Fi password. And from here, you have the notes here. So for example, this is going to be password. Now, if you want to add sections, labels, and new fields, and whatnot, you can go and do that and even add tags. Once you've done that, just click on save. And we now have our Wi-Fi password. We also have the categories here if you want to add categories. And for example, since we added a login here, so it's going to include our one password account and Facebook. I have secure notes for our Wi-Fi password and identities if you have the I added identities into your account. So it is a great way for you to uh, basically uh, see the categories. So this will be automatically filled out, so you won't you won't need to do anything here. Also, you have our tags tag section here. Like for example, if you added tags into your uh, credentials, since so we added a personal tag into Facebook uh, entry here, this is going to appear in this personal tag section. And if you want to see the archive here, like for example, if you want to archive a specific uh, item, let's go to back to all items here. Go to uh, maybe Facebook. So in this case, if you want to uh, basically, again, if you want to edit it, just click on edit. And from here, you should be able to either delete or archive them if you want to. So for now, let's go and click on cancel. 
So yeah, so in this case, if you want to use the archive or view series in the section, you could go ahead and click accordingly if you have them. But if you're, for example, if you already have like existing passwords somewhere, you could choose the import password uh, section as well. Like for example, from your browser or your password managers from different sections or even somewhere else like a pen and paper spreadsheet or CSV file. So yeah, now in this case, maybe I want to uh, go back into favorites page and at the top right, you should be able to see the my profile section if you want to manage your profile. So if you want to actually manage your, for example, your personal fault, the apps that you can include into your one password profile as well. So yeah, so in this case, uh, that's how it actually works. So it's actually pretty easy and a free cool software that you could use and basically secure your account. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.